Hey, divers, here we are. Ali Pierce again, Ali Pierce Scuba, with another tech tip. And this is an interesting one. People have been asking me about this. By the way, let me tell you, I really appreciate the comments. I'm so glad we have over 5,000 subscribers and a half a million views. I think it's really gratifying for me because I'm just doing this for fun. I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm just sharing 60 years of diving experience, 50 years in the scuba business. I, I, my, my sort of my thing was equipment. I was very technical, not meaning technical diving, although I've done that, but technical and equipment, techs and stuff and so on, building stuff and so on. And, and if I can share that with you, and if you pick up a single tip or a single idea, Fantastic. I feel really good about that. That's all there is to it. So anyway, today's tip, again, from one of your comments, and I appreciate that, is uh, somebody asked, can I switch brands? Can I mix brands? You know, it's sort of like saying, can I buy uh, a, a, a Ford and put on Michelin tires? Uh, the answer to that is yes. You can put on Michelin's good, whatever you want, because it's simply a size thing. But is it the same thing apply to scuba? Can you mix brands with scuba equipment? A lot of people really don't know for sure because you go into a dive store, and if the dive store happens to be a, if they happen to feature a particular brand name, they of course would prefer if you would buy that brand name. But uh, the quick answer to the question is absolutely. You can switch brands. I'm going to show you a couple of tips here, a couple of things. And, and the reason for that is simply that many, many years ago, the scuba industry uh, standardized the fittings on the different regulators. So that within reason, there are a few exceptions, but very, very few. Within reason, you can buy any regulator and any add-on accessory for that regulator, and it will fit. In some cases, it takes a bit of adjustment. I'll share that with you. So let's take a look. Here you go. Brand new regulator. Wow, one of my previous videos, uh, just recently I talked about when is it time to change your regulator? Well, wow, hoo I decided to change my regulator. Traded in my, oh, I got this brand new, shiny, gorgeous. Look at it. That's just gorgeous, isn't it? And I paid a lot of money. This is not an inexpensive regulator. This, is, this particular model is a, is a Scuba Pro Mark 25 700 model. This is one of the nicest regulators in the market today. Not cheap either, I might add. It has a lot of neat features. Whether or not you need it, there's an, I have another tech tip in there that talks about well, you, should you spend 300 or 800 on a regulator. Kind of helps you make that decision. But this fellow decided, gosh, I'm really enjoying scuba diving. I'm doing a lot of diving. I want a top quality regulator with all the features, heated seats, eight-way sound, everything. And that's what this is, okay? So here we go. So he's got a beautiful regulator. Now he needs to add to this regulator a safe second. You want to have a safe second on your regulator. I'm sure you realize that. So we're going to have a safe, we need to add a safe second. And you can certainly get a scuba pro safe second to fit. They'd be happy to sell that to you. And you can do that if you would like to. Uh, there's no real need to buy a Scuba Pro Save Second. I will tell you right now from my experience that Scuba Pro Save Seconds are relatively expensive. They're well made, extremely good, but they're, they're it's a safe second. Technically, you're never going to use it, right? If you, if you can do a good choice and, and make a good choice with your dive buddy. But you need to have one that's solid and reliable. So you want a good brand name, but you can buy Safe Seconds. Gosh, I've seen Safe Seconds for as little as 50, 60 bucks. A Scuba Pro Save Second is going to be closer to 200. So, can you buy a less expensive, fully functional, maybe a brand name, Save Second to put onto your nice, shiny, new Scuba Pro Ray? You certainly can. All you need to do is uh, take out one of the port plugs on the top of the regulator. You take out one of the port plugs, and for that, you need a 532nd Allen key. You stick the Allen key into one of these port plugs, that's what it's called like that, take it out, and I've done it already in this one, so now we have a hole. Can you see that there, Kevin? I'm going to try to hold that there. A hole. Now, as it happens, every low-pressure hose, now that means every low-pressure hose, the hoses that feed regulator second stages, and they feed buoyancy compensator inflators, and they, 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 they feed the dry suit inflators, all of those hoses, the end is exactly the same. Exactly the same. So you can take this particular safe second and it'll fit right in there. This is not Scuba Pro. It's a Scuba Pro regulator, but it's not a Scuba Pro safe second. So you just thread it in hand tight. And then you take a 9 16 wrench. They're all the same. Then you go just about a quarter turn tighter, not too tight, but like that, and it's sealed. So there you go. Now your nice shiny new Scuba Pro regulator has a beautiful, nice new uh, old air. This is from Excess Scuba. Excellent company, very, very affordable, and they have that gorgeous flex hose on it too. High visibility and a couple of clips, just a beautiful uh, safe second, and very affordable too. Yes, and it fits right in. 
So yes, you can do that. Now, what about your BC? Suppose you decide to buy, uh, oh, maybe an Oceanic BC or some other brand, doesn't matter. So you get the low pressure hose for the Oceanic. Here it is right here. Here's the low pressure hose for your new Oceanic BC or your old Oceanic BC for that matter. Well, once again, you go to the, go to the first stage and you take out one of the ports this is the 5 30 seconds Allen key. You take the port out and you take your BC hose and you put it into the thread. And guess what? The thread's right in. Exactly. Again, all low pressure hoses, whether it's an inflator hose or a second stage hose, is the same. 9 sixteenths, snug it up. Wow, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting a nice, this is a regulator system now. Now look at that. First stage. BC inflator hose, beautiful regulator, second stage, nice safe second to hang on your chest. You're all set to go. Oh, I need gauges. I need to have a gauge. I need gauges or a computer. What about gauges and computers? Do they also fit? Yeah, I, yeah, they do. They do. So if you want to get a Scuba Pro, a gauge set, or Oceanic, or Aqualong, or any one of the big brand names, or even one of the brand names that aren't so big, go ahead and get it because they'll all fit. For the high pressure, because your gauge and computer is high pressure, if you take a look on your new first stage, you'll see that there are usually two ports, one on each side, that are marked. They have an HP, high pressure, okay? <laughs> so you take one of those. So which way do we want this to go on here, Kevin? We want it to go on like this. So we want the gauge to hang on the left, so we take this left-hand one out. Same Allen key, just take out that port plug. It's called the, this is the port, that's the plug simple. And now you take your nice new gauge. Look at that. That's a beautiful gauge from Cressy. Beautiful gauge. European made. Okay. And we're going to fit it into the Skiba Pro regulator, which is an American brand. Oh, I think it's reg I think it's made in Europe. And and this, this Scuba Pro uh, regulator that has the American-made excess scuba and the American-made Oceanic BC. You see where I'm going with this? Snug it up a little bit like that. Now your regulator's ready to go. As I say sometimes, not so much jokingly, just add water, all ready to go. So now you can put this onto a tank and this, this rig has a swivel on it. There's your gauge, there's your BC inflator, regulator second stage that came with the first stage and your safe second all ready to go and this will work perfectly now you will find sometimes when you put this when you put all this together as particularly if you change second stages you will find sometimes that the second stage will free fall a little bit you get a little hiss when you turn it'll have to be adjusted that can happen because the first stage and the second stage are meant to work together so the first stage produces air at a certain pressure the second stage has to take that air at that pressure and then deliver it to you. So sometimes, not often, but sometimes when you put a new second stage on like this, you get a little bit of a free flow. So just slip, quickly slip into your local dive store and explain what you've done, and he can quickly adjust. This takes about two minutes to adjust the second stage, so it doesn't free flow, but still breathes beautifully. But there you go. Just to answer that question from one of those viewers, appreciate it very much. There's a regulator system four different brands. We could make this five different brands. You see, we could have a first stage from Scuba Pro, a second stage from Oceani, a safe second from Excess Scuba, gauges from Aqualung, and a BC from Oceani. You could do that, no reason why not. The beauty is, one of the beauties of the Scuba uh, uh, system is that uh, all those nuts and bolts and, and fittings and hoses are all exactly the same. So they are completely interchangeable. If you are interested in doing this yourself, if you have a little bit of mechanical ability and, uh, and uh, want to do this yourself, then you saw what I used in order to do that. You need a 5 30 seconds Allen key, and you need really, you only need two wrenches, 9 16 and 5 8 and 11 16 wouldn't be a bad idea either. Uh, all the fittings on regulators are usually one of those three, 9 16 5 eighths or 11 sixteenths. In fact, what you might want to do is get a tool. There are special tools just for scuba divers. This is a special tool just for scuba divers, and you can take this with you. Now, they cheat a little wee bit. <laughs> they have an adjustable wrench. I'm not a big fan of adjustable wrenches, but if you're very, very careful and adjust them properly and very careful and they don't slip and, and scar your brand new regulator, they're okay. But if you pull out these bits and pieces in here, you'll see that all the parts are in there that you need. There's a nine, there's, there's a 5 30 seconds Allen key. There it is. We're taking out the port plugs. We're putting them back in. 
And there's a one quarter Allen key. Some regulars need one quarter. There's a little pick for O-rings and some screwdrivers and so on. Another set of tools, <clears throat> even smaller, uh, is awfully nice. This one does use proper wrenches. Proper wrenches, you see them? There's four wrenches in there. Let's see what sizes they are. Nine sixteenths, five eighths, 11 sixteenths, and 15 mil. Some regulars use a millimeter too. And there is your 5 30 seconds Allen key for the port plugs, a little screwdriver there, another screwdriver there, and a pick for. So you see these things in 25 or 30 bucks, and you have all the tools you need to change the hoses on your regulator. Anyway, answer the question. You want to make up a regulator of your own design? All different brands mixed in there. Maybe you go shopping and get some good value, or maybe you, you want to get a new regulator but use some of your older parts. Perfectly fine. They'll all fit on there. If you have any questions or problems, go to your local dive store. Usually the service guys are pretty good and they should help you out. I hope that's helped a little bit and answered some questions. And we'll talk to you soon. Alec Pierce, Check Tips.